welcome my dear students i am priyanka from sandpoint yesterday we have got a notification on hyderabad karnataka reservation or the positions okay yesterday in the sense 24th 6th that is 24 june 2020 so like i went through the notification there are different position vacancies for civil and mechanical engineering so which is completely in kannada i went through the entire notification and i thought like i can convey you in the better way in the video so that you can start preparing for this exam if you are eligible so let me start now now the notification is visible to you okay as i told you it is only for hyderabad karnataka region only so six districts are included in the hk region that is bidar gulbarga yadgir ballari koppal raichur okay so now what is the condition to be called as like you are having the quota in this particular location see at least like you have to study there for around 10 years or else minimum 7 years with your parents staying in these particular districts then only you are eligible for this hk region or this vacancy now coming to what this vacancy is now this is for department of water resource for assistant engineer position okay this is for now it is visible to you it is water department of water resource for assistant engineer 181 vacancies are there which includes all the caste categories as well as general merit and there are three mechanical vacancies also in this particular notification so either the candidate can be be in civil or be in construction technology and management now let's know about the application dates okay important dates it is visible to you so application will start in the month of july 10th that is 10 7 so the application will start and the last day to apply is one month they have given that is 10th august 2020 that is the last day of applying the for this uh, notification and the last day for paying the fees that is the application fee is uh, 11th day that is next day they have given and the next uh, slide is visible to you that is what is the fees for the registration so if it is for general merit it is 600 if it is category 2a 2b 3a 3b it is 800 rupees and for rest it is zero but they are taking 35 rupees as the processing fee so remember even if it is zero for you you have to pay 35 rupees and 600 plus 35 you have to pay as the fees for this registration and one more criteria what the what they have given is there is no refund of the registration fee in any case next we will study about what is the eligibility criteria for this particular vacancies so it is visible to you we have to be indian of course then if you have studied kannada subject in 10th okay first or second language then no need to give the kannada exam but if you haven't taken kannada as one of the subjects then you have to give a separate kannada exam okay where the details are mentioned here a separate kannada exam where the syllabus will be your 10th standard kannada syllabus and the exam will be for 150 marks in that you have to score minimum 50 marks understood next let us know the interview process so this entire process whatever the notification or the recruitment process is there it is based on the written test after that there is interview process okay now how exactly is the interview or how many what is the proportion they will be calling it is around 1 is to 3 they will be calling okay 1 is to 3 they will be calling for interview that mean for 181 vacancies there are 543 people will be shortlisted for this particular position okay and if the entire like interview plus exam is of 100 mark percentage or 100 marks then in that 12.5 is considered for interview and 87.5 is considered for written test altogether you candidate will be evaluated for 100 marks okay now how is the exam pattern it is of mcq types okay it is an objective paper okay you can see the uh, how the pattern of the paper is there there are two papers so paper 1 will be your general studies and paper 2 will be your civil engineering subjects civil or mechanical engineering subjects so general studies will be for 200 marks and the duration is 1.5 hour technical is 200 marks and the duration is 2 hours okay now when you go for the exam what are the certain rules you have to follow id that is compulsorily that is you need to have the original id card it can be your aadhar card passport 
voter card, driving license, any of these documents you have to have. Without that, you will not be able to enter into the exam hall. Okay. And in this notification, they haven't finalized, which is visible to you now, which is not yet finalized that whether this will be online paper that is CBT test or offline paper that is OMR sheet. That is not yet decided. Okay. That might be notified again after few days in the website. Okay. But if it is an online paper, they will be providing a mock test also in their website. So no need to worry about that. And nothing is mentioned about calculator in this notification. Okay. Now, how the paper pattern will be? There are questions of which are in or printed in English and Kannada, both the language. So you can accept any of the language and solve the exam. And uh, whatever the exam date, see in this notification, they haven't notified the exam date yet. They have given you one month, more than one month of time to fill the form. Okay, exam date will be notified later. So you have to keep visiting KPSC website and hall ticket can be downloaded later. And exam center is also not yet mentioned that will be notified later. Okay, and there are certain reservations or certain certificates which you have to have with you. The first certification is of course HK certificate. Second one is your caste reservation certificate, rural background. The, this you will be eligible only if you have done from 1 to 10th in rural places. Canada medium also you have the vacancy and ex army physically handicapped. So there are reservations for all these. Fine. Now you can see the contact numbers which are displayed here. If you have any issues, they are the officials contact numbers. So you can contact them and get your clarified, they get your doubts clarified. Now, what is the salary for this they are offering for AE position? So, it is 43,100 to 83,900 rupees. So, here it has been mentioned there are 181 vacancies for this position. So, one more vacancy what they have taken apart from this 181 is the another vacancy is environmental engineering in local bodies in the department of municipal administration. So, this vacancy is also there. For non-HK, there is one vacancy and for HK, there are three vacancies. So, altogether, there are four vacancies. And what is the eligibility criteria for this? Either the candidate should be BE or BTEC in environmental engineering or chemical engineering. So, this is the criteria for this particular position only. And one more vacancy, what they have displayed here is, there are two posts for assistant director in department of industries and commerce. So there are two posts, they are not asking experience in any of the posts and for this post any engineering background degree holder can apply. He can be from any background, civil, mechanical, EC, electronics, anyone is eligible for this particular position. Okay, And salary of this is little higher than that of the AE salary. Okay. So, these are the vacancies, like three vacancies we have understood now. So, what are the, what is the syllabus for this particular exam? So, you will be, as I told you, you will be having a general studies as well as a technical. So, whatever the general KPSC syllabus is there, it is available in the website. So, the subjects included are building materials and concrete technology, strength of materials, SA, RCC, steel, EFM, hydrology, irrigation, Hydraulic Structures, Geotech, Transportation Engineering, Environmental, Survey, Bridge, Estimation and Costing, CTM, Environmental Studies. So, these all 17 technical subjects are there for you people. So, what is this Environmental Studies? You will be having all the info like the syllabus will be something like Ecology and Environment which you study in General Studies part of any government exam. So, Ecology, all our pollution, environmental degradation and which are the different steps taken to uh, take care of all these. So that is what is your last subject, environmental studies. So whatever the subjects I have told, these are for any vacancies in general. But last time in PWD, the syllabus was totally different because that exam was conducted by KEA. So the subjects were far different than what I am uh, saying you now. Okay. And as the notification is for WRD, that is Water Resource Department. So I personally feel that you can expect or if you are preparing by your own, concentrate the subjects like water related subjects. 
like fluid mechanics, hydrology, irrigation, hydraulic structures and you concentrate even environmental engineering also along with building materials. So first study these subjects, after that you can concentrate on other subjects, okay. Because see when it comes for irrigation and all, they will be giving more importance on those subjects. Last time in BBMP, they gave more importance on building material subjects. More than 30% of the questions were asked only on building materials. Okay, so based on my experience, I can say you this. So along with this notification, one more notification was out yesterday itself. That is 24th June 2020. So what is the position of that? It is assistant director of town planning, assistant director of town planning, where the salary is 52,650 to 97,100 per month. And how many vacancies are there? For HK, there are 5 vacancies and for non-HK, there are 16 vacancies. That is, there are, in some of the positions, they are considering backlogs. The meaning is like if any of the vacancies in any particular caste category or general merit, if they are not filled, so they have to fill for the same position now. So, including the uh, previous backlogs, for non-HK there are 16 and HK there are 5. Now, what is the eligibility criteria for this? It is BE civil or architecture you have to have and along with this you have to have MTech degree, remember. So, this explanation for assistant director for town planning is only for M Tech students, it is not for B Tech students which you have to remember. So how this exam pattern, so M Tech which are the different branches they are considering in M Tech. So it is for town and country planning, urban design, urban planning, city planning, transportation planning. Okay, so these are the different branches which they are considering in M Tech for this particular position. Okay, the exam is of conventional type that is descriptive type it is not objective okay so js is asked for 200 marks it is for three hours and uh, the subject one more subject they are mentioning is urban regional planning so this is subject they will be asking for 200 marks and for three hours so the exam pattern the syllabus is different for this particular position okay so one more doubt what we are having is if you see the subjects like transportation planning and all, which MTech per branch. So, see now I have done MTech in transportation engineering, so highway engineering. See, we have studied the subjects all days like urban design, urban planning. So, we are not at sure like whether MTech in highway engineering or transportation engineering is eligible for this particular position or not. So, if I get answer for this very soon, I will be informing you people over the message or else you can call the contact numbers which I had shared earlier. You can call and get it confirmed because if this position is for MTech in highway engineering, it is a very good opportunity for you people because salary is also good as well as the position is also good. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share you people. So in our website, I have added the syllabus of all this that is civil mechanical engineering and the syllabus for this uh, assistant uh, director for town planning that syllabus is not yet notified in the website so when we get the notification of that we will be uploading in the website and along with this i have given uh, notifications also in that website so the link will be displayed in the description box box so you can click and uh, you can uh, download the notification go through the notification again in detail because here I am explaining you everything in with respect to like general merit. See if you think of the age category, age cutoff for general merit it is 35 years and for uh, other categories excluding SCST 38 years and if it is for uh, SCST category it is 40 years. So age category cutoff is different for various exams and also like to which category you belong and what certificates you need to have you have to collect all because in the application, it is also mentioned in the notification that if the application is incomplete and if you are not uploading whatever the reservations you are having, then your application will be rejected straight away, okay. So that is the reason you have to have all the all the certificates with you people like rural background, Kannada medium, all the caste category certificates, HK certificate you have with you all the time, 
okay so now what i personally feel is like after like within few days the exam date will be declared so start preparing for this and whatever the subjects i have told you we are working on the video lectures of these subjects we are already having the video recording which are designed as per the government exams itself but whatever the topics are there extra we are adding those topics into these current videos so if you have any plans of registering you can uh, uh, contact the number which is mentioned below 9916085858 okay and from this notification further you will be getting you need to have the information of the exam date second one is syllabus for this uh, assistant engineer town planning and how the mode of the paper will be whether it is classroom or on uh, whether it is like offline or online and next doubt is whether the calculator will be allowed or not okay so all this uh, further uh, informations i think will be shared over website and uh, if we get any information i'll be again sharing you okay so start preparing all the best